Yeah, I never played that one either. Although I would absolutely not be opposed to that. Oops. I was always kind of curious about playing because I saw Epic talk about that one forever. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. That has everyone this morning. Good morning. What's up, Kazix? Yeah, this game is a game, alright. <laughs> I have, I had this as a kid, <clears throat> um, but yeah, I can get to the well, and then other than that, we have no idea how to like properly navigate anything. I have watched the speedrun to death, like that's what the pinned comment is there. There's a dude named Blunt Bunny, and uh, he would stream this almost like an hour before I would start streaming, I guess. Oop, we almost modded this guy. That would have been funny. What's up, Zinka? That's, that's pretty decent. Thank you for the 60 as well. What's up, Darkling? Havoc still ran it. I don't think I met Havoc. I saw, when I looked this up, hey, listen. I saw, man, I forgot who was, me, I wonder if that was like the SDA one, cause like I wound up on some SDA page for this. <clears throat> it was, it was Havoc, actually. Yeah, it was... I had never met him, but apparently it was Matthew Havoc, if that's the same guy. Because I was literally thinking, like, I saw that name. But, yeah. I guess, even though this happened when I was on Twitch, and I existed on Twitch, I, I never ran into whoever this was. Oh, that's him? Oh, sorry, not Snubber Me Kimber. I remember him. But thank you for that, Diggity. And what's up, Julian? Juliano, even. Yeah, I I never... Well, I mean, I played this one as a kid, but I, I never got anywhere close to beating it. But welcome in. How are you doing today? And hey, Merrick. Yeah, I remember Snubber, Snubber Me Kimbers from the Wizard and Warriors games. And I followed him a long time ago. And it, oh man, it reminds me also of, um, man, who is he? He also disappeared forever. I can find him through this speedrun, I think. Pip Johnson. I don't know if you guys met him, but he also was, like, extremely good at, like, some very specific games, and then he kind of vanished as well. I haven't seen Pip Johnson in a while either. But I remember watching him do like Hammer and Harry and stuff. Yeah, and that was like probably five years ago at least. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I wasn't aware of that bounty thing. But yeah, I think it's like, is it up B or something to continue? Left and B or something like that, and then you push start. I know there's like a continue code in this one, but uh, I don't know what it is exactly. But that's definitely kind of like a early Hudson Soft kind of thing. It's like, well, there's a continue feature in our game, but figure out how to do it. Like, it's a secret. Great design.
Oh man, this guy is... These are mechanics. <laughs> that's, that's definitely an interesting thing. So the only thing that I really remember is... Yeah, I love that. It's a secret to everyone. So it was cool watching the speedrun and like Blunt going through this because one thing that I didn't know was this like band, right? The more music notes that you find... Oh my god. <laughs> the more music notes that you find, the more instruments that get added in the background. So it starts off and there's only like a drummer guy, but the more music notes, or sorry, the more instruments that you find in the background, uh, the more the song gets completed in the background. So if you actually find like all of the music notes in the game, there's actually this really decent little song that plays. I had absolutely no idea until I started watching that on Blunt when he was speedrunning this one. So I thought that was really cool because I had never heard that song before. But other than that and this, this is basically all I know about this game, so... We don't have enough! <laughs> I'm an idiot! <laughs> yeah, some dotted notes. What's up, Abajak? I was like, yeah, man. Okay, hints. Secret entrance in the front wall. And we also have bump head to find box. Like, I love this one because it's obviously talking about, like, hitting your head right here. But that's, like, the most cryptic way that you could literally say, like, not even, like, one foot to your left. There's, like, a hidden music box thing. Right, we need that to jump. No, we need- ah, no, wait, we need the spring shoes to jump. We need the umbrella to shoot faster because that's video game logic, apparently. Ooh, hello, sir. Okay, now we can buy shoes. And now we're basically on our own in the world. <laughs> like, that's like basically all I've retained, so thank you. Weird fish head. I always thought the enemy designs in this one were kind of weird too. And then I know, actually, I remember there's like a honeycomb thing over here. And then the umbrella was like every... I can't remember from the speedrun. It's like every 11 or 13 enemies or something. <clears throat> okay. Really? That's actually funny. That's just medicine, I think. Find a saw! How is that, how is that a hint? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Crystal has mysterious power. Alright. Is the potion, like, it just heals your life, or does the potion actually do something? After I get past this floor, I don't really have a great thing. Ah, okay. Well, I guess we can exit this stage then. I thought it was just this thing. I thought like the green glove just shrunk you, but... Don't be deceived, Memory Carp. It's not. <laughs> I mean, it's a very quirky little game, but... Oh wait, there's actually a honeycomb up here too, I think. But it definitely has a lot of problems, you know? Was it here? Okay, well, we'll come back. We need the power of shrinkage, apparently. Uh... You're in here. Shrink when you touch the glove. 
Yeah, I remember actually in grade six, there was like two kids. They were named John and something. And they spent like an entire year trying to beat this game. And they actually did beat it. But like every time that we would go outside and like go outside for recess and stuff like that, uh, you would hear like progressive notes. Like they were literally taking notes. And at some point, like you needed to find the balloon to save the princess. And there was like a fake princess and stuff like that. And at some point, like, they finished it, but, like, it was a very long process, and it feels like it kind of lasted forever. But I still remember that from, like, literally grade six. So the umbrella resets between screens, you don't carry it. Power! <laughs> okay. Imagine buying power for $5. Oh, that's the honeycomb. I think we probably just despawned that too, so that's great. What's up, Stormcrow? Welcome, sir. Nice. We didn't despawn it. Yeah, I think so, diggity. <laughs> Secrets in the well. I think this one's kind of cheap. <laughs> like, I don't think a whole lot of people like this one, so... I don't think it's that expensive. Uh, you know what? We'll also be tiny again for this part. So we have $30. I remember the lantern thing. Well, actually, I guess we can go here and try to kill this guy. But the lantern guy, uh, it makes the well not dark. But I actually remember as a kid, like going into the well and having no idea how to like do anything in the well, because I never found the lantern. So I'm wondering if it's like possible that I remember how to like jump through some of that stuff or if we should just save up the extra $20 for the well. And thank you also for that, the five streak thing. I just saw that Stormcrow. What's that Mac? Yeah, see like I don't know the layout of this thing at all. So this is where we're starting to be like, well, <laughs> It was nice being able to navigate through this castle. Uh, I actually remember, I don't know if this is a thing, Kuma. I remember from watching Blunt run this. I think it's this corner, actually, or a similar corner. Why? That, uh, the money comes back here. Because usually if you collect money in this game, it doesn't come back. But there's, like, infinite money in that corner, I think. I think. If not that corner, it's a different corner. Ah, nice. So keys are tied to enemies then. Well, <laughs> goodbye, Umbrella. We didn't need you anyway. Man, I, I sure wish I had that Umbrella. <laughs> like, that's okay. There will be other Umbrellas, right? Why are you there? Well... 
the lantern is cheaper here. Blue makes the bubble bigger. The well is climbable. Need a light in the dark. Oh wow, what a jump. Okay. Why do you keep coming back? So... Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, game. <laughs> you got me with your tricks and such. <laughs> okay, well. Ah, so we need to go over there with two again. <laughs> Played by static objects. What's up, Bagler? Welcome and answer. The inanimate object. Look at the fish head. Look at them! I guess maybe your ah your proximity oh my goodness, mobbed. I think one of my favorite things is about like watching Blunt do this speedrun was the enemies that just like sometimes literally spawn on you. There's like nothing that you can do. There's like so many times where he would just be like existing and then all of a sudden there's like something that spawns on him. He's like, yeah, thanks. Okay, so we need this key. Hey, Dean Begler. I don't know where the door was. Uh, no, we have to actually figure out where the door is. Because now we need to shoot, and then the door is somewhere. Because <laughs> that's how this game works. So where the hell is the door? Ha, ah, okay. So we can't get up there. Can we get up there? We can't get up there. Okay, <laughs> that was useful. What is, what, is the, what is the point of this, literally? Like... What's up, Bane? Welcome back. Whoa, what a jump. Wow, <laughs> dude. <laughs> All right. Just take half my health, will you? Really, you have an emote for that. That's pretty amazing. Is this... Wow, we actually collected a decent amount here. Holy shit. 46 is not terrible. No! <laughs> Yeah, if you've never seen this game before, it's pretty out there, for sure. I didn't realize you can't shoot when you're tiny. Or at least in that transformation thing. Sure, we'll buy both. 
Why does power recover so little? The f- <laughs> this guy, <laughs> the fast is not hundred percent against heat. So you, sir, are like a con artist. Like, you sell me a shitty vest, you sell me a shitty power-up. Like, what is your problem? Well, that guy was useful. Oh, man. The fire is crazy. That man grew up Kha'Zix to run Monopoly. I think we're gonna die. Oh, I think we're gonna die. <laughs> okay. Woohoo! We're fine. Okay. Why are we... I guess that was the only reason to come into here. Yeah, I remember that from, uh, I guess, like, figuring that out, like, when I was a kid. But I honestly thought the vest was, like, 100% against fire. I didn't realize that it was only, like, partially effective against fire. So I love the idea that they coded this game. So, which one of you has a key? are stuck here forever. Oh, the <laughs> uh. <laughs> nice. I don't even know what I killed there. Man, the fireball dudes are scary. Like... The fact that you have almost no iframes in this is pretty incredible to you. Like, I always thought that was a very bold choice when you made a video game back then. Like, I feel iframes must have been discussed in basically, like, every video game ever. Okay, I just want to get up there, man. Thank you. So we needed to be tiny up there. Oh, I don't have to go that way. Nice heart. <laughs> So you down here somewhere? Nice. 
Hey, what's up, Waxus? Yeah, I, uh, the guy that I linked in the pinned comment, he's somebody that I would watch run Mylon quite a bit, or Millen, Mylon, whatever. And thank you for that epic. But, like, almost every single time that he would, like, start a stream, and, oh my goodness. Uh, so maybe you're down here. Like, where else can you be? But almost every single time he would start his stream, he would literally say that. He's like, good morning, Mylon enthusiasts. <clears throat> so, to answer your question, I don't think so, still. Like, there's probably only, like, eight. But... I did like his little greeting, which is literally a call back to that. Yeah, this is good. This is amazing design for sh Aha! We found it! It only took like 74 minutes, but we found it. Like, excellent. What's up, Markler? And Servimpa. Okay, so we, we have... All of the stuff for here, I think, right? We have the spring shoes, we have... We didn't want to do that. Why would we want to do that? Okay, let's try that again. Can you not get in here small? Wait. Oh, there we go. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Oh, it takes it away from me anyway. Okay, bye B. We <laughs> didn't need you. We actually really did. So... I don't know if I want to go down... No, I, uh... No, I think you went down here first, and then after this is where I don't really remember where to go. Because I want to go down and left, but I think you have to kill this guy that's coming up first. And then after you kill this guy, then there's like a balloon that you grab. And then from there, I'm completely helpless. I don't really remember anything. But yeah, this guy... Why? Maybe you don't die? Okay, we're just gonna walk away. Oh, nope! <laughs> I don't know if I can hit this guy. I think you're kind of invincible. Oh, ah! Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, good thing that we missed that shield. Nice. Excellent. Well. Was it up and start? Uh oh, that's not good. What's up, JK? Hold left, press start. Well, I guess we get to start again. <clears throat> it's okay. Well, we're, oh yeah, we didn't have money last time. You know, I thought about learning this one, like, multiple times, too. Like, I feel this one's a cool one in the sense, like, you'll probably almost never see, like, people speed on it. Like, the entire time that I've existed on Twitch, 
There is only... Tech well, I mean, like, technically Kuma ran it, but I never saw him run it. But I only saw Blunt Bunny run it. Like, nobody else. There's actually a Japanese runner do it, too. <laughs> you returned it the same day. Yeah, this one is, like, probably one of the more cryptic video games, I feel. Like, it's extremely hard to navigate. Yeah, that's why I put it in the pinned comments too. I really liked watching him stream that a lot. Like he streams at really beneficial times for like kind of like my my schedule now. Oh, thank you. Yeah, finally. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like he usually streams, you know, a couple hours before I start streaming. So when he was speedrunning this, I would definitely watch it. Quite often, almost 100% of the time, actually. Wait, I need to move this window. I was actually talking about that epic. Like, I've actually. Uh, can we get that? Nice. Uh, I never played. Um, Sorry, what is the Super Nintendo one called? Dore Mi Fantasy or whatever? I've literally never played that at all, so I wouldn't mind playing through that. But that's not even anywhere near this, like it's more of like a platforming game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, sorry, that's a dumb sentence. Like, the Super Nintendo version is more like a platforming game, you know, like this, which is kind of like a platforming game. But, um... <laughs> You know what I mean, but no, like it, it's not the same. Like it's more linear in the sense, like you don't have to go around and figure out like where the hell you even need to go and stuff like that. So it's much more nice, I feel. So the honeycomb thing was up. Here. Ooh, okay. I didn't know there was a. Why? So the thing was here, or not, oh no, it was up here, and then, what's up Malty, welcome on into. Is that even po it is possible? Why? So actually we didn't want to buy the lantern thing here, but we do want the money. But I was too poor to buy the lantern last time here. And then it was cheaper on the top floor, so... I guess there is no reason to go in there. Why? Stop doing that. Yeah, you know what? Like, I... Borderline have huge issues with, like... Metroidvanias. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of, like, Metroidvanias. And I have a really hard time enjoying kind of like, oh yeah, I forgot you can't do that. I have a really hard time enjoying Metroidvanias, but like more so I think like the gameplay where it's like, okay, you know what, you found an item, now backtrack, you know, like a half an hour so you can use that item. Cause I don't, I like, I like the exploration. I don't like the backtracking. Like that's my one kind of big problem with them. I like this, like, you give me completely, absolutely 
nowhere to go and I have to figure it out. Like my brain does like that. But I should honestly, you know what? I've never done that. The first time that I ever really saw like Metroid is like when you were actually running it still. I don't like backtracking. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not that one. But that's actually a game that I've never beat, and that should be maybe one of the other channel point things. Like, I could force myself to go through either Metroid or Super Metroid, but... I did try a long time ago. Like, literally I think when it was like 200 followers or so. To go through Metroid. Or Super Metroid, rather. But I gave up. <laughs> it's like, I don't like this. But I get it, you know, like, it's a me problem. Okay, so we did spawn the key. There was, oh yeah, wait, there is a honeycomb thing here. up here. Yo, thank you for that Dr. Butterfingers. You want to answer that one, Cat? <laughs> I've only mentioned my favorite game to Cat like 10,000 times. She could probably tell you. had so many random conversations about it that were like completely one-sided. What's up, Flygon? Okay, I guess the door is not here. <laughs> NHL 94. Almost true. I wonder why they decided to make that one block destroyable. So I guess maybe it's over here? If it's not up here? Oh no, it's up here. Okay. <laughs> there you go, that's more accurate. But no, 100% is Final Fantasy Tactics. Like, back then it was Final Fantasy Tactics. Like, to this day, it's still the best game I think that I've ever played. So, unrelentless fanboying there. But 100%, uh, it's never changed for me. I've always liked that one a lot. Which I'm still hoping that there's like the remaster or whatever that comes out. Supposedly again for like the third time in a row it was confirmed, so I'll keep holding my breath there, but So there is a honeycomb down here. No wait, we needed to go to that store thing, which is also down here. Cause now we can buy the lantern for cheaper. Or the vest. <laughs> I guess the lantern was in the other spot. Wait, is there- oh my goodness floors, please. I 
Actually, I don't know about that. I think we missed one from up here. Hey, what's up, Lynn? from Lynn's stream. What are we up to? So, I don't know what the fuck I just did. We went to... Oh, maybe not. I was gonna say buy umbrella, but maybe not. So I guess we skip this thing. Ah, there we go. Okay. That's where it was. Oh, and DJ me, Davey. Are you entering the Big 20? That's still with uh, the speedrun friendly league thing, but congratulations. You know, I was heavily thinking, Lynn, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet, but like, on, technically it would be September 1st was when I created like my Twitch account and I streamed for the first time. So that was when, well, I get whatever, that was like when I streamed for the first time. So it's obviously coming up. And last year I went through a bunch of like different random games from like a variety standpoint that I wanted to beat. And this year I'm kind of tempted to uh, go actually through Jurassic Park because when I was like super new on Twitch I had this little list of games that I wanted to beat back then and I beat every single freaking game on that list since creating an account but Jurassic Park on Super Nintendo that is like the literal only game on that original list that I still have not beat so I thought you know what maybe it's time to finally do that <laughs> like maybe <laughs> but I don't know. Hey, what's up, Sherry? You remember it being disgustingly bad? Well, I think that's accurate. Well, okay, let's go right back into there, apparently. See, I'm, I'm heavily tempted to use kind of like the patched version, because there's a, a patched version that changes nothing other than you can save it. But then I also feel, you know what, like, no. Nah. But that's, that's one where, I don't know. Like, I honestly think I would have beat that game in my life at some point. Because I don't think it's like, you know, inherently super difficult or anything like that. It's just the fact that it's such a weird game that lasts forever. And then there's literally no way to save anything. It's like you really are forced to like beat it in one sitting. Or I guess there- where was the B? How did I do that last time? There you are. Oh, the dodges! <laughs> there we go. You're totally fine. So, this guy was fake, apparently. And that's where we died. So, it's left and start if we die again, not up and start. I sure wish that I had the umbrella! <laughs> like, being able to shoot one bubble per second is great. Okay, that wasn't too bad. No, I had this game as a kid hamster and I never beat it. So from here, this is where I'm really lost. Like, I don't remember. Hey! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's have a hammer. <laughs> like, sure. So there's also, um... 
I don't know how you do this. Like, there's like a balloon or something that you spawn, and then from there, again, I have no clue what I'm doing. Nice. Maybe you don't spawn it yet? Oh man, I'm so confused. Well, it's a good thing they were gonna die in the well again. Excellent. Okay, well, what did we learn there? Oh yeah, La Mulana is great. Like, I like La Mulana a lot. Well, I thought there was a balloon. I prom- <laughs> I thought there was a balloon! <laughs> like, you know the balloon? <laughs> like, does this actually exist here? Okay, like, how many other areas can we shoot? What's up, Akuri? Yeah, the balloon that exists. Seven hours is not too bad, I think, for Jurassic Park. Okay, well maybe there's no balloon yet. Maybe at some point you come back for this thing. Unless you have to kill maybe this guy? I don't think you can kill this guy though. Or he's gone forever. Okay, I'm going to conclude there's no balloon down here. And we just keep being strange. Kitchen faucet. Uh, not with cat, no. Okay, excellent. Can you imagine, like, literally how annoying this would be without the continue thing? if you can like buy a balloon somewhere. Nice falling. Fine, I'll live down here! <laughs> like, what else do you want from me? <laughs> Just let me get up that little hole. Okay. Like, okay. Ah, that makes it so much easier. Although I still have to do some weird jumps there. Like, what? how do you get over on this other side? My goodness. I'm glad they made climbing out of a well as obnoxious as it would be in real life if you got trapped down there. 
so we can go in walls now, right? That's what the hammer was for. Well, there's... I swear, is there no balloon down there? I thought there was. Like, I thought you fly up through a balloon and you escape. But apparently... No. Okay, we got a saw for the window. There is a balloon! <laughs> Where was the balloon then? Like, uh, how do you spawn it? I honestly have no idea. Because I swear, like, I've watched Blunt run this so many random times, and it's like, I know there's a balloon there, but apparently it was unspawnable. There is. Okay, wait. We can go up here. Thank you. And then... Nice. Nice. I don't think there's many enthusiasts, but that's again what the pinned comment is about. Is one of the runner- oh, okay, hello. One of the runners of this game, uh, he would often say like, Good morning, Mylon enthusiasts. So that's where the title comes from. I'm still gonna die. You stupid bird! <laughs> like... Okay. Oh, okay! <laughs> Alright. He's amazing. So... So you're in a pretty rough shape if you just, like, straight up die. Like, does this come back, or does this stay away? No, it doesn't come back. So you have to, like, farm health then, which is great. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay, game. <laughs> Okay, okay, sure. Excellent job, Fishhead. So... Okay. I mean, we can try, right? Like, there's no way that we can kill this guy with absolutely zero health. <laughs> no. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Uh, hey, what's a visual? Sleep well, then. Hope you have a good night. He does so much damage, holy. Okay. I wonder if... well, I'll try one more time, otherwise I'll go get health, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Make it Battle Kid. It's not too bad if you don't jump. I guess you have to like react to that actually. But Okay, now we're hopelessly lost. So the only thing that I know is this goes back to like the main area. I don't even know how you get up there. Oh maybe oh, whoa, hey, we're in. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was gonna say I remember this goes here. But, okay, but we can't afford that apparently yet. 
And it sends us all the way back to the bottom. Why would it do that? That's the best part. Like, we literally just got up to the top. So, my question is before I leave, does the money come back? It does. Okay. I think it comes back twice or something. Had you or has you? Does it actually still exist? I don't know if you need like a running start for this one. Still cannot afford the shoe things, whatever these are. What's up, Thexta? How you doing today? Okay, so now we're completely... I don't know what the fuck we're doing, so... We can start from... We'll start from the bottom. Or the top. Or the very top. <laughs> like... Okay. I don't think we're supposed to be up here yet. I always thought of it, like, especially for casual stuff like this. You know, doing, like, retro achievements at the same time, but... I don't think I have a strong enough interest in doing that kind of stuff. Okay. Really? never played this game. I don't know if it's cool. Uh, it's a game. <laughs> it definitely exists on the NES. That's for sure. Okay, well... It's like actually horribly cryptic. Um... Okay, I think we're just gonna die. I don't think we need to be here yet. I don't mind retro achievements either. I just, I, I like, well, I don't know. Like, I, I don't mind them either. They're pretty fun. Because I did set them up a long time ago for Batman and Bucky just to try them, but, like, I, I guess it depends on the sets and stuff like that. Uh, where was... No, it was the third one. Okay, so we're gonna pretend the tower doesn't exist yet. What are you? Some developer thought they were funny adding springs to like every second block, huh? I believe it, honestly. <laughs> That's actually a really good comparison. Have you got like the jank Mario 1 physics? Like. 
That's actually pretty accurate. The cryptic Zelda exploration, the cryptic hints from Zelda. Okay, guy. Where's this go? We're just gonna run. Ah, uh, we have our momentum gutted there. That's amazing. Can we even recover that? <laughs> All that work for two dollars! <laughs> like... Was that really necessary? I don't think we can get in there. I love being able to hit my head. No, but don't worry about like spoilers and stuff, because at this point it's pretty blind for me. The first couple of stages I was kind of pretty familiar, but I have literally nothing at this point, so... But I don't mind this lunacy and trying to figure out where things are. But I'm extremely weak, I think, from this point forward. In remembering anything about the speed. Okay. And apparently going through this block as well. Okay. So we can run through here, I think, right? No, we cannot. No, you cannot! <laughs> like, you just can't run through anything. What a great room, you know that? You're like his sleeping cap. That was another one that I've never played, uh, was like that Pugly, Pugsley whatever scavenger hunt. Okay, wait. While we're down here, I might as well check. Nothing. I don't think I like these little, like, bone-throwing dudes. Dude, this is an impossible block to dodge. Okay, wait. It's the second? How am I doing this? Of course. Of course there would be a spot there. I was literally thinking, like, you know what? bad. I've actually heard like the Pugsley game, I don't know which one it is, there's like one on Super Nintendo, but technically the one on Super Nintendo is like ridiculously difficult. Okay, we found a music box, we'll take it. <laughs> Was this progress? Probably not. We found something. Are the, the notes that spawn like the flats and sharps specifically? I guess like the normal music notes as well. Is there like a set number that spawn? You know, like let's say like 20, 20, 20 or something. Or is it completely random how they spawn in the bonus games? I was always pretty curious watching Blunt do that. Yo, we got 50. I know from the speedrun there's like a little bonus for getting, I think it's 50 and then 60. Okay. 
don't think I can even get over it. Oh. You know what? I bet you it wants you to do too. Maybe not actually. Oh. I take it back. Aha, okay. So then. Oh, there's a key door. <laughs> We have no key. So we need a key. Okay, one one question that I would have. Oh no, wait, that's okay. I won't ask that one. Okay, we have a key. And now we're gonna die. Like where else do you want me to go here? Okay, wait. We're gonna go up here before we actually die. I don't know how to do this. I feel all two times that I've gotten in this room so far has been fluke. Uh oh. What? <laughs> Whatever game. <laughs> I guess that was destiny. Like Okay. Hey, I start from the door though. I guess that wasn't too bad. Ah wait. I can't tell. Does do you lose money when you die? And continue? Because if so, that's pretty cruel. Considering it's like borderline finite. Okay. We're also gonna live our life on this ledge forever. Alright. Apparently we're stuck. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. You remember it too? How did we get up there? We jumped up there twice before. Oh, that's great. Okay, well, we didn't want to go in here. That's for sure. Okay, was that so hard? Oh, well, the money comes back again. Maybe the money comes back after you game over. What are you? Jump high anywhere. Okay. Do we jump higher? I honestly can't even tell. Oh, oh man! <laughs> Dude, I don't know if I wanted these. Look, <laughs> what is that? Uh, okay. That's really kind of obnoxious. I don't think this speedrun gets that, like... I don't remember them jumping like that. Oh, it's gone. I guess, okay. It comes back three times. Yo, what's up, Eric? It's placebo. Let me like a look. We don't even have to like walk to the door. Okay, we don't have to walk to the door like a sucker. We could just jump. We're like, oh, let's go. <laughs> okay, so we did. Oh no, wait. We were missing a shop. Okay, wait. I'm gonna write this down. 
So, <laughs> my launch Jordan. Okay, wait. How you doing, Eric? By the way. Okay, so I think we're gonna go. Please don't kill me yet. I think we'll go back into actually here. Cause there's a store somewhere. Well, you know what? Having jump here is not necessarily bad. All of a sudden the springs and shit aren't that annoying. Cause you can just go like that. I didn't want to exit, that's okay. Okay, so where the hell is the shop thing? There isn't like... Okay, wait. We didn't check down here. Thanks for that tea, by the way, Sean. <clears throat> Man, okay. So there's nothing I don't think down here. Yeah, I was gonna try Frostbite yesterday, but all of that stuff happened, which is kind of wild. Okay. Asking this blindly, not necessarily related to, like, the room that I was just in. Do you need items in this game to unlock any of the stores? Like, do you need certain items, or are they always something that you can find if you go in there? Okay, so I clearly need to be small to go into there. You do need certain items, okay. So I'll come back there then when I get other items, I guess. Sure, guy.
Oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, none are linked to the story, it's interesting. See, it's funny that you have like this other level where there's like 10,000 ways to fall through the floor. So the game has like no trust whatever for me anymore. And I was literally thinking like I'm gonna die here. Wow, that's laggy. Why did that guy spawn? Okay, wait. We'll be back for you apparently. Or since we're right in front of your face. You know what? We'll be back for you. <laughs> like, I'm gonna go up here like I wanted to do before. Glide down slowly. There is only one Maharito. <laughs> okay. A crown and a cane is needed at the fourth floor. Why? I wasn't even spawned in yet. Okay, so... Okay. That's what the blimp thing does. Can we even get that B? No, it's not even close. I can imagine it sucks. You probably get like, yeah, bye B. <laughs> it's nice while it lasted. But yeah, I can imagine. <clears throat> like the the funniest thing about watching Blunt run it was literally the random RNG and the enemies and like how they spawn and appeared. And I think it's like particularly bad in the well as well. It was kind of silly watching him do that. Because he would need a specific amount of health in the well. Okay, so where the hell would you be? Okay, goodbye. I did not want to do that. I was trying to shoot up. So, okay, goodbye. <laughs> you know, it's like... Okay. I would just like to shoot up, please. Oh my goodness! Okay, I guess if you walk into the door, you automatically leave. The first couple of times I was holding up. This time, I'm not holding up, so maybe I just have to stay away from that door. Like, how else do you avoid this door? Wait, okay. Okay, you automatically leave. <laughs> What's, what's up, Blank? Okay. Well, science was successful. We exited the door four times. We now understand that if you're near a door, you leave. Because <laughs> I was going to say that I thought maybe it was like in the roof or something. Like, that's what I wanted to check. But apparently, I guess maybe we can like float. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll stay away from the door. <laughs> Like, we won't even go near there anymore. We'll explore different alternatives, like... Okay, so the only spot that I didn't really check... What? Okay, thing. Ah, we weren't here before. Well, I was thinking that maybe it was in the ceiling. So the only thing that we didn't do is shoot here. Is there some kind of store here? Okay, guy. Alright. I think this might be the worst- This is, I think, the worst level so far. <laughs> Great level. Okay, well there's a honeycomb, apparently. We found that. Go- 
dude. <laughs> okay. No, nice. I think we're gonna die. Thank you. Wow, okay. What's up, Birdman? Yeah, no, the, the shooting of everything in every room is kind of obnoxious. Like, I like the idea, but in practice, it's kind of rough, for sure. Okay, so we didn't really check out this top corner either. You know what? actually missed that. Right, there's like two blocks here. Where the hell could this thing be? Like, I feel the only spot that I haven't conceivably explored is, like, this little tiny area here. But I didn't... and there's not any kind of glove that I could use here. before. I guess that's just how you get out of there though. <laughs> What's up Joe? Yeah, I've never beat this before either, and I can understand completely about why you'd be infuriated playing this game. It has several great design choices for sure. Hello, welcome on in. How did you enjoy it? I always had this one as a kid, but there was nowhere, like, I, I never made it anywhere in this game. The furthest that I got as a kid was the well section. And then from there it was always, like, a complete mystery where to go. Okay, well we'll come back for this, apparently. I still have absolutely no idea. We had an NES as a kid. Okay, so we have... Wait, we're gonna go like this. I don't know if these are anything either. I am not 20-something, I wish. <laughs> a water pot in an icy room. So we need $40 for this thing, whatever that is. What's up, Polly? <clears throat> He didn't make it past the first monster. Okay, 
so we found and bought the item and found the honeycomb in this stage, I think. I'm almost tempted to write this down. Can we appreciate this guy's face for a second? Like that? <laughs> I do like that sprite a lot. I think he's got a good face. <laughs> yeah, actual Pogchamp. <laughs> like, like, he's just living his best life, man. He's happy. Like, he doesn't even care that like I'm intruding on his castle. He's just here, flying around. Like, that's actually, like, one dude that's not hired as an evil henchman. He's just enjoying being existing. Okay, so... we have... Okay, I'm actually gonna write this down. Because otherwise it's gonna compound. So we're gonna say... We'll no open up, like, the notepad thing. Honestly, yeah. I mean, he's definitely got things going on. So we'll say the purple bouncing room. We're missing the store. I don't know where that is. So apparently before we keep going forward. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Thank you. <laughs> I guess we're down here again. What's up, Karma? Okay, wait. I screwed up everything. How do I... Okay. So then... We have... Nice room. Nice. Okay. Honestly, this room wouldn't be too bad though, because you have like this stupid thing right now. So I feel like this was literally made for this room specifically. Oh. Why did I plummet there? <laughs> okay. Nice plummeting. I can't believe I jumped in that little tiny area. Well, this has been an excellent stage so far. Okay. Please just allow me to... I can imagine, yeah. Like, it's probably pretty easy to fall and just, like, lose a bunch of time here. Oh, I can't land on that. Apparently, it's just... <laughs> I don't know what that was. Fake elevator. Can I jump on that thing? Oh, there's a music box there. We'll never- Ah, oh, but this thing is all gonna spawn back! That's okay. You see? We're starting to get a song. It sounds like, again, someone's just playing the tuba. 
but... <laughs> That's pretty overpowering, actually. <laughs> like, Tuba Man came to play today. Goodbye music notes. Oh wow! I didn't even think to use like those little power ups and shit here. What's up, F F L C L? How you doing? Okay, so I don't know if I need to be this tiny sprite thing, but we'll do that again. And then apparently somehow not get hit by that guy. Or get hit by that guy. Okay, I don't think we can apparently jump into that hole. Why are you down there? Really? Uh, okay, that was a close call. I was like, why would you send me all the way down here and there's like nothing to actually go into? Dude, I really feel like the NES is almost like the pinnacle of level design, but not in a good way. Like, the NES is almost again like the wild wild west of level design, where actual licensed games that you back then bought with your hard-earned money <laughs> had levels like this in it. <laughs> it was like, okay. <laughs> but like, they didn't quite refine like what should a level look like yet, and it was just anything that you wanted. Can you imagine if, like, the whole game was like this, though? That's probably why this level. That's why Cat never had it as a kid. Europeans are smarter. They're like, we don't want our kids playing this shit. Are you kidding? Okay, well, there's a honeycomb. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, the blockbuster thing I think is like for real as well. Because you can see that, like, especially if you kind of, not necessarily have a Twitch account, but like you're going through, you know, like, games and stuff like that. But like, the Japanese version of Ninja Turtles 2 is like a lot easier than the North American version. And then the North American version was made harder for literally no reason other than probably like rentals and stuff. <clears throat> Same with Ninja Gaiden 3, and like countless others. So we have... There's a store up here, yes, no, that's how we left. So... Okay, wait, I need to try something. I wish I didn't have to go back into this room, actually, but whatever. At least knowing what's around here, it's not gonna take that long to check again. No! <laughs> you had one chance. I don't think I can reach it from there. 
Oh, you can go in. Okay. Power up the bubble. Watch out for a phony princess. That's good advice. So, I think we found everything in here too. Oh, I can't jump through that floor. Actually, I had no idea that this was technically not released in Europe. Like, I'm not super good with knowing to some extent. Like, I, I guess, like, the PAL uh, exclusives, I know a decent amount about, you know, like, with Hebereke, essentially, not necessarily being, like, a PAL exclusive, but, like, things like Banana Prince and stuff like that. They're only released in, like, PAL regions, but I'm not super good with knowing, you know, like, what game that was here didn't get released in PAL. But this one not being released is kind of surprising, but at the same time, I guess it's not, like... Maybe Hudson released it, although I think it has, you know, like, a decent following in Japan. It seems to be a lot more revered there. I don't know about North America, <laughs> but... Okay, how the hell do I get up here now? Are we also stuck down here forever? That's the bonk that kills your runs. So I can't jump on that thing. I guess we come up this way. Getting out of here is much more obnoxious than getting in there. So we have whatever's on this other tower. If there's anything. Thank you. But why? Get by Umbrella! <laughs> like the worst spot you could probably spawn an Umbrella. of eternity. Yeah, it makes me wonder, like, their decisions back then. You know, like, why would they decide, you know what, Europeans don't like this game. Because, like, sometimes it kind of makes sense, but, like, one thing that's, again, very exclusive that I'll just never understand in Canada um, is there's... Uh, like ketchup chips. Okay, nice. 
That was excellent. Yeah, we were talking about that in the speedrun. There's like a little room where money always comes back. I found the money in like this room where you get like three, whatever it is, like 16 or $25, but there's like a little group of four that always spawns over and over again. But uh, I was gonna say like ketchup chips and stuff like that. I don't know why. Like I, I want to meet the executive that decided, you know what, like Canadians like ketchup chips. Like how did that even happen? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Please stop. Ah, there's a thing there. I think that was. Oh man, how did I do that? One, two, three, four, five over maybe. Yeah, no, I found that other spot. Although I guess you could probably find that, like, you could go in there a lot easier now with the jump thing. Maybe that's how you're supposed to get there. Like here. Oh, maybe not, actually. But yeah, it's like right there. I've been in there three times so far. So if I counted right, I want to be over... One, two, three, four, five, here? Okay, guys, please stop. Okay. Man, this guy hurts! Holy shit, he hurts! Oh wait, I have floating. Why am I jumping like that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I feel... I don't think we learned anything. What's up, Luca? The ones that kind of look are orange, but they probably taste like salt and vinegar. I don't know about a tuxedo wearing... What? A I don't know about that. Probably all dressed. Like, it probably also has the name... Maybe that's what you're thinking of. But I, I always thought those were a really weird kind of like Canadian exclusive as well. Like I don't like how they taste at all. Oh, I don't even have enough for that. Okay. Needed more angry faces on the cover to be ahead. I think we're just gonna die going back down there again. You know. I thought about that too, Luca. Like this, okay. This honestly wouldn't be, wow. Excellent. I don't think I could have timed that if I tried. Okay, wait, so. We have two different things, actually. Um, you like all dress as well.
So we have two different rooms. I'm not exactly sure how to navigate through yet. So I wrote down, and I don't want answers, by the way, so don't worry about that. Um, but the purple bouncing room, we still didn't find the store. And in the top left corner in the tower, I don't know how to leave that room or what to do in that room. And then I guess the top right was the boss dude. So, like we have, let me try here, I guess. Because maybe I needed the higher jump to get through this section. Because I didn't have that before when I was here before. Or we just died of like that bird thing. That works too. So yeah, like up here, there was this, right? So can you actually exit from here? Maybe not. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, who are you? <laughs> okay, well there's another boss apparently. So top left is boss, top right is boss. Uh... Yeah, it's great to have like no umbrella here too. Okay, so we can we can do a couple of things here. Cause all we need to do is spawn an umbrella for both of these guys. So we'll go back to the top left. We'll spawn an umbrella. Hopefully get health on that thing. What's up, Mercedes? <laughs> Only two of the bosses look like a pile of dog shit. <laughs> yeah, the bosses take a lot of damage. You know, you can essentially death loop here and stuff like that. Uh, so... Nice. Okay, there's that. Even farming here is obnoxious, because these dudes spawn in very random. Well, not randomly, but they like spawn in from the top, too. I'm not even in the right area. You, s you don't s shit. Okay, uh... Why is it so impossible to find a heart here? Dude. <laughs> okay. Excellent. <laughs> it finished, I'm sorry. I actually hit 16 home runs, so we're done. The record was 15. And it ended up being completely RNG. So if you want to challenge it yourself, you don't have to learn anything. Uh, you just literally hit the ball, like that's all the skill that's required. You have to hit the ball with the bat. But it ended up, like I actually tasked that, and the pitcher is the same, so he'll always throw the same amount of throws or whatever. Uh, like he doesn't speed up secretly or anything like that. And the home run window, there's like three different spots that you can hit. Okay, sure game. There's three different spots that you can hit home runs from, but they're all the same. And every single time that you hit a home run, the window changes. So it's like eight frames was the highest amount of frames that I saw that you could hit a home run for. Like when I tasked it, and then two frames was the smallest. So, as I said, you don't have to do anything. You just have to hit the ball and then hope that it works out.
it's actually pretty obnoxious how hard it is to hit 16. I saw 14 like five times, and then the same run that got 15 also got one more, so I didn't have to worry about it. But my goodness, I love games with my friends. Look at that! That's a, that's beautiful. You should try it, Chroma. Yeah, why not K-Mark on this? Yeah, weirdly, like, I'm not exactly sure why you would do that as a developer, is like, take out basically the only skill portion in specifically a game mode that would have been centered around skill. But I guess there's a couple reasons, because I honestly thought like maybe they did it so Ken Griffey always looked good, or he was hard to beat. Because I wouldn't put it past, you know, like the developers back then. So it's like you couldn't just obviously have like a home run derby where kids could hit like 10,000 home runs. Um, the other thing that I thought of was maybe so home runs actually ended at some point. Because there is like a rate of failure that's random that's like basically progged in, programmed sorry, into the game. And it could have been a legitimate coding error as well. But I don't think it was a legitimate coding error because apparently the Super Nintendo version is very similar. If not identical in that way, where there's just like a certain amount of window frames that it'll determine if you hit a home run or not. And that seems to fluctuate and change. So it made me wonder what the actual reason was, but yeah, still. You wanted to try it, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> Download the game and try it. As long as you can hit the ball with the bat, then you have an equal chance, literally. Okay. Nice. Why, dude? We work so hard for those hearts. I like how there's like that one fish head enemy there. Hades is a cool one. Yeah, okay, sure. Whatever. I mean, I don't really need to go forward with you, right? I can just shoot you from here. Yes, but you can also shoot me from there. Because you can just like, float away. <laughs> it's gonna be like 10,000 cycles, but... See, I'm afraid of jumping there. It's gonna like literally just shoot me in the face. Oh, I knew it! <laughs> What's that one epic? Okay. Plan B. Maybe this area isn't stupid to grab hearts in. I feel these guys are a little bit better, like the stationary blobs that don't do anything. So watch, we'll fill up on hearts here, and then we'll go into like that boss area again. And then we're just gonna die. We'll literally lose all of our hearts. I 
Oh yeah, I remember you mentioning that in the past, that Gadget Twins had zero. I do wonder if, like, like how do you as a developer... Like, come to that conclusion. <laughs> it's like, you know, every other game that's ever existed ever has invincibility frames. And you're just like, you know what, no. <laughs> like, I think we should go against the green in popular culture there. Let's develop a game where if the player is punished and takes even one hit, it's like they lose their entire health bar. It's like, sir, what's the point of even adding a health bar anyway? Like, we could just do the one life thing like Contra. Like, how, how does this conversation actually go? It's like, no! <laughs> it's like, we must have a health bar, and it must be drained as quickly as possible. Like, is this the conversation they actually have with this game? Hey, Umbrella recovers your health too. Does Umbrella recover your health to full, or only recovers like an extra health? I grabbed that at a weird time. Think so? Nine minutes. Beating Hades is crazy. That's pretty quick. Okay, so we can try again. Hopefully we don't die like a fool. So I guess we don't have to do anything. We just have to run down. Oh, you know what? No, wait. We actually, no, thank you. It's a good start. Because we want to kill enough of you that you spawn an umbrella too because I forgot they don't carry between screens. There we go. Now we can go like that. You know, I partially wish that I didn't get like this like super jump thing. Cause it does make these jumps awkward, but whatever. Okay, well we killed top left then. What's up, Sin? So I assume we don't have to go back to that guy. Thank you, Joe. And what's up, Joe? <laughs> I got the double Joe. <laughs> nice. Well, we get to go. Oh, man, the leg is crazy. Mr. Joe Polito, congratulations on. 1,000 speedruns, which is actually kind of insane. But literally Joe... Polito, anyway, literally just ran his 1,000th game? That's... like... <laughs> that's too many. What is the worst one out of all of those? Like, I don't even know how you even keep tabs on that. Yeah, it was Super Mario Odyssey for 1,000. It was a post to time. Fuck your hair. <laughs> Could be. Okay, so the right guy, we can also kill, I think. There is nothing stopping us from killing this guy, I think, other than our own idiocy last time. It 
was just us that was stupid. So we want an umbrella. Okay, I'll take a B as well. I'll take a dollar as well. <laughs> There's the umbrella. Okay, buy a bee, buy hearts. Man, he's got so much health. Okay. You know, I'm kind of tempted to let him hit me like that. Texas Chainsaw on the Atari was one of the most frustrating. <laughs> yeah, my, my line, I don't know if it's Mylon or Millen. What do you guys think? I always called it Millen Secret Castle, but I've heard everybody on Twitch say Mylon. You think Mylon? Tim Hortons. <laughs> yeah, this game definitely has like its share of problems. Did you ever speedrun that Ken Griffey game, Junior, that I was doing the other day, Joe? That has to be the worst one that I think that I've ever run. It is so unbelievably bad. Like, it's actually bad. Why? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could have seen that laser thing, but apparently not. The Super Nintendo one, dang. You should try... You should try the Game Boy one, it's pretty bad. Why am I here? I did not mean to be here. Hundred percent is I guess like all of the items. What else is there in a hundred percent to do other than buy everything? Ah, all honeycombs too. Ah shit, I was in here. I have no idea where... Ah, so these like hidden... Oh man, these hidden blocks are... Stuff you have to hit first. Oh, okay, buy B again. I knew that was coming. I'm an idiot. So then... Okay, I kind of understand, I think, what's going on here, too. Because I'm assuming... Okay, how do I ask that? Is killing this boss necessary to beat the game? Because I think what I understand is, like, if I kill this guy on the right side, I can enter... Sure. I can enter the tower from the side that I just entered or like exited from. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Dude, getting down there without taking a stupid amount of hits is kind of silly. Ah, interesting. Okay, I would have thought wrong then. I was literally thinking like if you kill the guy on the right, then. 
obviously you enter or whatever from the right side and then it leads to the left exit and if you kill the guy on the left and you enter from the left then you leave maybe from the right exit but it made me wonder if like killing him was actually necessary to beat the game so there was no honeycomb there anymore Okay, please for the life of everything, just allow me to exist as I... Thank you. No, <laughs> stop, you stupid... Whatever even you were. Okay. There we go. So, if you have an umbrella, and you grab another umbrella, do you get a health then? Because the first umbrella that I grabbed didn't give me one. But I'm assuming that's maybe what happened last time when it recovered. No, maybe I grabbed health. <laughs> You'd have two umbrellas. What happens if I grab a third umbrella then, huh? Does that give me a heart? I'm just walking around with so many umbrellas. Ah, so I actually had two umbrellas. Okay. You know what? I'm sick of your Australian... Okay, why? <laughs> like, I just want to come down this section without losing half my health. Okay. I just say, sick of your umbrella Australian, like... I don't even know how to, like, <laughs> like, whatever. Okay. Okay, we're going to... Dude! Wow! Okay. <laughs> yeah, zapped by God. <laughs> Probably accurate. Dude, that guy does so much damage. That's all, yeah. Like, it's like, what, five hits maybe you get killed? He's pretty good. You know, I'm kind of tempted to try something. Because I saw it happen last time and I was like, hmm, I wonder if that's viable. Why, dude? Like, worst spawn ever there. Luca, have you ever beat Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Why, dude? Like, the bouncing is amazing if you get hit there. <laughs> the damage dance. I thought about that one also today, but I th I, all my choices today were actually pretty cursed. I literally thought about, obviously, I guess, Mylon's secret castle. Dude, please, I just want to, like, not be here. Uh, but I also thought about Who Framed Roger Rabbit and then Dick Tracy. So, like, we were destined to play something not amazing today.
I read that it's way harder than you think it would be. Um, because apparently what it ends up- okay. What ends up happening is there's like, snipers on a roof. And if you game over, you have like a limited amount of health or something like that, or like 1-ups, but then they come back. Depending where you game over, it becomes awful. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay, watch. Uh, I don't think that's good enough. Nah, that's not good enough. Okay, well, we got lucky. Oh yeah, I read that too. Like, if you interrogate three people. I was trying to read something about it. But like, wives are... Or you, like, you can only get into... Sorry, I think you can only interrogate like three people or something like that. Extinguish the fire. Okay, so we have... What's up, Nico? So we got rid of the top right boss, we got rid of the top left boss. We have... We have not found this thing before we leave this floor. So wait, the top left sends us to the weird area. So I guess that's where we need to go afterwards. We'll type in weird area. And then this section... We have not found the store, so we are still, <laughs> I don't know where to go here. Also, I'm gonna die, like I didn't realize I had exactly zero health. Like, oh, okay, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I remember that as a kid. Like, you couldn't just, like, gun down everybody. That was definitely a thing. So I can't go by that door. So I feel like this is like the only area that I wasn't really around. Are you serious? Dude, fuck. Wow. Okay. But now we don't have enough money for whatever this thing is. But we get hints. A trap in the left tower. That's probably a room below the fireplace. So, okay. So <laughs> we don't yeah yeah we found it like probably two hours too late. What does the feather technically do? I'm assuming actually I have no clue. I love the idea that it's up there though. That's a pretty mean one to find. So then... Ah! Wow. That's a very specific item.
That's a very expensive item to literally use for one use, literally. Because I'm assuming the elevator, like that elevator room, is the only spot that you can use the feather. So you're basically paying like $35 to ride the elevator one time. To go- oh shit, I didn't mean to run through that. To literally go through a door that you could have just jumped into, like I did before, to grab this thing. Although I guess technically, maybe they didn't expect people to jump into the door. Because I guess you would use the feather to get this bubble upgrade thing that I originally got, right? You know, like from a casual perspective. So we have... I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Oh. Apparently we left. Yeah, yeah. Give me a second. I'm going to go refill my water. That was a beautiful expedition. I mean, I guess I could have unpaused the timer or paused it, but whatever, it's fine. Hey, what's up, Coconut? We're doing pretty good. How about yourself? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> sure. Okay, wait, I need to open up this one. So... I guess we're going to the left tower then. I would not mind learning this one, like, after having played it again for the first time in an extremely long time. This isn't the worst controlling game, but it has, like, that really kind of... Like, Mylon is special, you know? <laughs> like, he tries his best. But there's a series of things in his game where it's just like... People don't seem to like it as a speedrun. I may get that. Okay. Okay. So there was... Last time... There was a honeycomb, I remember, and then we just fell through. So the honeycomb was where? Ah, am I, like, blocked there? Okay, wait. So you're obnoxious. Unless there's a way to get up here. No. So I cannot fall. Is basically what I'm understanding from that room. If you fall and fall through, then you have to do it again. So in that case... That was just meant to be. Okay. <laughs> All of that didn't line up. That was also meant to be, I guess. trap. I don't even know how, like... Okay, you know what? I think we need... The I think it's kind of both. Like, the level design in this is cracked at best. You know, I refuse to believe most of this game didn't come from like a drug-induced fury. But you also have zero iframes, so if you get hit at all, like, you're probably gonna lose multiple, like, ticks of health. Cause you just kinda, like, juggle there. But there's literally zero iframes, so... That's exactly what happened there. So, is it possible to hold up here? It is, alright. So we don't get trapped at least. I don't think I can float over though. No, I cannot.
vorbei. Okay, so... This is obnoxious because I wasn't paying attention to where... Okay, well I know up here for sure there's two. So maybe from here I can jump. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like... I was gonna say, I wasn't paying attention to like where the blocks were like being uncovered from. So, okay, there's one here then. So we can do that. Okay. So can I jump here? What a mess. Dude, I'm so confused about like the layout of this level. Okay, well I guess we're leaving. What did that accomplish? <laughs> like... Okay, uh... We can go... Like, we can go back to the right side? through the electricity because that hurts apparently. Wait, is there anything over here? Okay. Wait. Ah, that's cool. What? <laughs> no. Dude, why? <laughs> uh, okay. I was like, oh, that's so cool. You could just like go into that area. No, everything just leads down. Kind of. I don't think it really does, but the guy in the pinned comments, if you ever want to check him out, uh, his name is Blunt Bunny, and he was somebody is somebody that randomly streams almost every morning. But he does like Link to the Past and some other speedruns and Big Twenty stuff. But he uh, speedran this game, and that's how he would usually say, like when he started his stream, he would literally say like "Good morning, Mylon enthusiasts," which there's probably not many, <laughs> but 
I, I liked how he would say that, so that's why it's again in the pinned comment section. Okay, guy, you're... Dude, that's like the worst when he knocks you into that electricity. Okay, we're just gonna go. See ya. So we have... Whoop! <laughs> That's exactly not what I wanted to do, but thank you. I wanted to float down to like the bottom layer. Okay, so we have... I guess I have to go back to maybe to like the top left tower. You know, the amount of times that I've actually kept that B is almost non-existent. I think I've had like a shield for this game twice, <laughs> that I didn't immediately lose it afterwards. I don't think the manual would have helped you on this one. It's pretty cryptic and rough. Yeah, it's the same. It's the Hudson Soft B. So especially in kind of like the early 90s and things like that, that was kind of their mascot and everywhere. Okay. So we need to go... I don't know where we need to go, but I'll try the left tower. You know, that's actually another series that I've never played. Like, I like Hudson Soft a lot, actually. But I've never ever even tried or played those Adventure Island games. <laughs> there might be. Konami, they actually did that with uh, Castlevania. They had like a pseudo announcement about Castlevania and ended up being like an actual pachinko machine again. And they were like, dudes, why? Yeah, the crime syndicate. It could be. I mean, what are the other alternatives? Like, why would you own like 10,000 pachinko machines? I ah, shit. I wasn't holding up again. Oh my god, okay. So maybe we have to go all this way? Okay, there is something there. Man, this is like so obnoxious, but I remember I think in the speedrun there is... 
Well, like, you probably don't pick it up in the speedrun. But I remember there's an item for seeing these invisible blocks, right? So we missed that somewhere from some kind of store. But I don't think <laughs> I don't think this isn't how you're supposed to go through this section like this. So. so I'm pretty sure there's an item for it. Man, I have no idea where this could be. Like, okay, that is a thing. And then I'm blocked. So I can come up here. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> we made it! <laughs> My head hurts. I could have come through here! <laughs> oh, I hate everything. Oh, okay. Okay, alright. So... This is not the well, though. The well is literally right here. It's literally the well, and it's this section over here. Yeah, the well is really cryptic. That's as far as I got as a kid. Okay. Good job, Mylon. Oh my goodness, get out of the well! <laughs> okay, how do we keep doing that? Thank you. Right, like the saw windows. Okay, so then I... You know what, actually you can get... Okay, you can keep me alive, that works too. Ah, 
Uh, damn it. Okay. I didn't realize that the continue thing allows you to continue from like the stage as well. I thought it always sent you outside of the castle. Okay, so then... I guess we have up here. There's nothing. Sorry, I'm- oh, Mickey Mouse Kavid. I was literally reading that as like Mega Man. It's like I haven't seen him run that one. Yeah. He very much apparently likes Mickey Mouse. That was actually one of the first things that I saw him speedrun when I followed him originally. Because I actually followed him through somebody named Tinyu. And she posted about him one day. And I thought, oh, okay, Link to the Past. So I followed him for Link to the Past, but then it ended up being... I'm dead. Yep, I have to fall from the right side there. But he ended up speedrunning Mickey Mousecapid. Yeah, like, I don't exactly know how to get to the fourth floor yet. <laughs> yes it is, sir. It was me, I rigged it. What's up, Finn? Like, I wish you could think for a second without, like, lightning ruining everything. So I was gonna say, if I go through... Like, I feel like, again, it's, like, through the top left corner, because, like, where else are you supposed to go? You post about it here, I don't mind. I know that you're not one of those people that's just here to talk about stuff and then leave forever. But thanks for considering that too. I do appreciate like the DM consideration. Yeah, Blunt Bunny is 100% just worth following. Like he's a really good speedrunner. Extremely good at Zelda, like Link to the Past, if you care about Link to the Past, okay, Link to the Past at all. But does other weird stuff, like Millen's Secret Castle and apparently Mickey Mouse Capade. Yeah, I never understood that, like... I mean, I understand that, I guess, that some people do that and they kind of use other people's channels, but to me that always felt really weird. And... I, like, I, if, I've, if I'm watching somebody stream and I know that I'm going to stream myself soon, I either don't say anything in their chat, or I just immediately, like, I always, like, call it back to The Simpsons, where, like, Homer is Poochie, and he gets into trouble or whatever, and, like, nobody likes Poochie, and then he gets, like, this big speech, and he's allowed to speak, and it's like, oh boy, Poochie, it looks like you have something to say. And then it's like voiced over, it's like, I have to go now, and then he gets like ripped out of that animation cell. Like, that's 100% me too, or I don't even say anything, I'm like, hey, bye, and I'm like, whoop! <laughs> like, I can't have the opposite mentality of being like, yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna go stream now, see ya! Like, that feels really weird to me, but whatever. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I'm a fool! I'm a fool. So is there a way out of here? Or are we stuck? Oh, we're stuck. 
There's no way to get back in here? Like, are you literally just... Man. Okay. I like that a lot though. My stream kinda needs me to follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Yeah, like it's not it's not the most like offensive thing that I think that you can do. It's just one of those like whatever man, I don't understand why people do it, but Yeah, I kind of assume that by now. It's pretty punishing if you fall down there. Like, there's literally nothing that you can do to recover. I mean, if I was an idiot, I don't know what item that I'm missing. But, like, I like how the one item that I didn't buy... You know there's a command for that, right, Finn? <laughs> oh, I see. I, I, I see what you said. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you don't have one? That's funny. I don't have Instagram either. Or I think I have one under this name, but I've never used it, so... Feel free to follow me there for literally nothing. But there is, like, some websites that I registered for originally when I created, like, this Twitch account. Just in case I wanted to use, like, other social websites down the way, but I never used that one. Yeah, I like how the one item that we didn't buy or find was the one that makes these invisible blocks appear. Like, it would be nice to know what the fuck that I'm doing, but we don't have that luxury apparently on this playthrough. We have $11 to our name. And he has to constantly deal with invisibility. If I remember to hold up, like, coming back in here is not the worst thing. Okay, so... here... Oh, there's a block already. Nice. Okay, <laughs> let's just fall. That's fine. It's actually not fine at all. So it was right here. Oh shit, I wasn't holding up. It was here. Here. So... Okay. If it wasn't up here... So it's not right there either. So I wonder if it's in- Ah, oh, I can't do that though. Oh no wait, I can do that. No, I can't do that. I'm sorry I cannot navigate 300 invisible blocks well. <laughs> like, okay, so then... Sure, I didn't even know there was one up here. So at that point... Do we have something on this side?
No, I, <laughs> I don't want to know where to go. Uh, so, um, oh, sorry, I see your other message. Well, I only have like one other spot here, like it was down the middle. So... Shit, I mean- uh, okay, nice, I didn't mean to fall. Cause that- you know what? No, 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 I think I remember. But I don't remember, cause where would that- sure, you weird thing. Cause that would be in... No, 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 I think I remember, but I would only remember from watching Blunt Bunny do the speedruns, I think. You have to go back into the well, where like that fire was, or is that not correct? I think you have to like fall through that floor again or something. Okay, then I literally have no idea. I'll try going back to that room then when I have the health. You can't kill that fire at all? Nah, I appreciate that, George. Like, like it, it's. I think it's like a weird thing too, because I, I think like the more that I struggle to figure out something, like that's the least likely time that I would like any kind of help with it. You know, it's like very similar to how I feel like kind of like working on like a math problem or something like that for like half an hour, and then all of a sudden, you know, like some person just comes in and it's like, oh yeah, the answer is like fifty nine. It's like, well, thanks, man. Like, I was trying to do it myself and figure it out myself. Like. But like I, I've went through like I think like a weird evolution there, but I think there's a difference too. Like I generally don't mind like the back seating thing, but then there's like weird situations where I find myself in where it's like okay I'm struggling to figure out whatever the hell I need to do, and the crypticness of this is I think something that my brain enjoys. But I think there's a difference between people offering you know a hint or something, and then because I think there's like two different kinds of like back seating on Twitch. There's like literally people that maybe come in or say like, hey, you know what, I remember this and it's fine. And they say, you know, like maybe you can try doing whatever, you know, like maybe it works for you. And then there's kind of like the other side of backseating where people are like, yeah, go left. It's like, okay, now do this. It's like, okay, now do this now. And it's like, hey man, calm down. Like if you want to play the game so badly, then just play it yourself and do those things yourself, you know? <laughs> like enjoy the game yourself. Do it exactly how you want it to be played. But there is a dude in here, you know, like when I was playing SimCity that was like pretty crazy. He's like, yeah, you should build that there, build that there! And I'm like, well, you know, I'm like you could just do it yourself if you enjoy it. Yeah, that's, that's a direct call out to you. Literally, literally, Mr. Boo Cows. 100% we're talking about you. So I feel if it's not like the latter, then it's not as bad. Okay, so I'm surprised Sin City didn't. Okay, whatever, guy. I'm surprised Sin City didn't get like its own video game because that was like a massive movie when it came out. And thank you for that, Finn. Even though that's like super belated. If it did, I'm not aware of it. It could have, I guess. But I'm definitely not aware of it if it did. You know, I feel it was a missed opportunity. I don't want to get too close to the door because I realized last time you just exit. But I feel if you're a developer and you hit like all kinds of cryptic shit, 
There's like two things that you missed here. Cause you gave me like this weird ability to float and jump, right? If I'm running from here and jumping, like you see how you can almost make it on top of that pillar? Put something up there. Like, that's a pretty cool secret area that you could have put something there. But I feel that was like missed opportunity number one. You could have totally hid like an endgame secret there or something like that. <laughs> A black and white GTA, probably, yeah. It's possible. Okay, so... Like, the only spot that I didn't really try to go into that room and do anything with again was the crown or whatever. And I guess there's like all kinds of weird shit at the top of the ceiling that I didn't- oh my god, I always forgot to hold up there. Nice, we're down here again. And then there's all kinds of stuff up here, like I didn't try to hit. <laughs> Subjificus. So there's like that one block over here, but I don't think I hit it yet. Okay, whatever. So we have... I don't think there's like anything on the ceiling. Doesn't seem like you can even like break that or anything like that. Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you. Oh, we're fucked anyway, so we get to come back. There's like nothing that you can break for the floor. Yeah, that's basically what happened to We had this game as a kid and I couldn't figure out. Uh, well, that's not true. I got to the well. And I got past the well, but after that, I have no idea where to go. Am I looking for something in that room? Or do I have to go somewhere else? I ran down the area. Oh man, I didn't realize we can just jump like that. <laughs> okay, well... Sure. <sighs> Look for the way forward. Yeah, that is Chroma. The only connection the two temples have is at the bottom shafts. You have to find another way for the other. Why the other temple? Like literally, he was just like, dude, <laughs> like lightning, leave me alone. Like literally, spawned on the lightning. So. Okay, we can try. One of these magnificent rooms up here again. Like, I actually think. Okay, wait, we're gonna try something else actually. We're abandoning this plan. And so we clearly have two different temples, right? So, or not temples. Okay, lightning. Yeah, it's very similar to like the original Metroid, which I always thought was hilarious. You can like literally get like hit as you're transitioning into like whatever screen through the doors. I love the idea of getting like killed in a door. Oh, 
Are you for real? You piece of shit thing. Man, that thing is annoying. Especially when it's facing you. I feel like I could have died there. Like, if he hit me up, like, that's the most dangerous combination, I think, in this game. When that dude hits you, like, into electricity, and then you just kind of, like, bounce in the electricity. Your health just gets, like, massively vaporized. We'll go down the right side. So this guy doesn't kill us immediately. So that literally does nothing. That's a paddle. What's up, Corza? What's up, Dan? This is a great game, Dan. <laughs> this is... Have I enjoyed this? I don't know. But honestly, it's been decent. Like, it's got some... It's got a lot of issues, actually. Not even some. But at the end of the day... Would I play it again? Probably never. <laughs> no, honestly, it's not not as weird as I thought it was gonna be, but it's also extremely weird. Okay, so this was my only other idea. Because here, we didn't really do anything last time. So what is over here? I was literally just trying to enjoy my existence in this castle. I 
don't know if I need that thing all the way over here. Do I? Grab the door. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that, Horza. Okay. Does this do anything? All of that for nothing, man. I thought maybe you could fall in like a little tiny square or something right there. But no, it's just a little tiny square. Then in the bottom right corner, the developers literally decided, you know what? In the top left corner, literally, <laughs> there's the boxing glove, right? But no, there's nothing. Well, I don't want my journey to end in some bright corner that does nothing, you know? So we managed to find everything, Dan, except for whatever item that you need. <laughs> whatever item that you need to see the invisible blocks, and also whatever item that you need, the feather, to ride that elevator. So we can't ride the elevator. And the invisible blocks are a thing. Yeah, I floated in. Uh, so apparently that's the thing. We just floated right on in. <laughs> really? Yo, shit, sure you, bro. That's a name that I haven't seen in like forever. What's up, sir? Welcome back. It also has some miles on. <sighs> This is totally, well, not totally blind. I've seen this speedrun before, but we're, we're essentially lost now. What I could remember and what I've played of myself was only like maybe the first like 15% of the game or 20%. So we killed the fake princess thing. Ah, God, no. <laughs> three, three hours and nine minutes would be pretty rough. <laughs> I think the record in this is like eight minutes or something, so. Uh, substantially shorter than that but yeah I have no clue how to get into this other area the only other thing I can think of actually is maybe we go back to the left tower yeah it's something like eight or nine Kuma would know Kuma runs a hundred okay you piece of shit he runs a hundred percent but the any percent record is something like eight minutes or something like that. So what happens if we go to this tower? And we do everything to get into the tower, but we don't fall in. And if this doesn't work, then I have absolutely no idea.
Really? <laughs> like, really? I say, maybe you can go from the left. Like, uh, <laughs> like, what else do you want me to do, game? It's probably one of the worst games, I would say, on the NES specifically, to navigate. Like, there's some pretty bad ones on the NES, but like, this one... Like, playing it blind is really difficult. Because there's just so many, like, weird secret... Like, I don't know what they were doing. Like, I guess, I guess they had the idea back then where, like, more secrets are better. But you managed to create a game. It is, yeah. Like, it's actually a Nintendo kind of power game. Like, you needed a guide or something. There's no way... Well, I mean, like, you could get through it, but, like, it's so much basically, like, every block that you go like this. Like, you're going like this to make sure that there's nothing there. So you have to, like, literally explore, like, every pixel with this bubble. What's up, Omega? Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's how people viewed it back then. It was like their literally only game back then. So, as I said, Dan, we have not the item to see whatever these invisible blocks are. So that was great. We found, I think, every other item except for the feather. So we've spent so much time in this room that we can almost navigate on both sides. <laughs> it's like... Okay. Dude, that was me. Except, uh, it wasn't $60 back then. Uh, I had a choice. Like, we went to... Um, basically like the spot that rented video games and stuff back then. And I had, you know, okay, I'll tell you the winning choices actually. Because that was like when the Super Nintendo was coming out and there was like a bunch of Nintendo games that you could get for like basically like wholesale prices. Because all the mom and pop stores, because this technically was a video store and it was called 24 Hour Video. So it wasn't like Blockbuster, but it was basically like an independent Blockbuster. So I remember my mom taking me there one day, and she's like, okay, you can get a couple of Nintendo games, because they're all like $5. The winning choices that I picked that day were both this game, so Mylon Secret Castle, and then Tecmo World Wrestling. <laughs> like, there was so many other games that I could have chose from. So many. <laughs> but yeah. That kid was me, literally. And I always think back to that day too, because like one of the things that they had that I was super curious about, and I looked it up years later, was they actually had like a weird looking game. And I always remember that as a kid because it didn't look like a Famicom game because we actually had Mega Man 1, but it was Japanese somehow. We bought that from like an older kid or like he gave it to us or something because that had like uh, one of those like honeybee converters or whatever on the bottom. So for to me, like for the longest time, like I just literally called him Rockman because that's what it was to me. And everybody was like, it's Mega Man, you idiot kid. And I was like, it's Rockman, I swear to God. Like if you go and you play it at our house, it's Rockman. I don't know why it says Rockman, but it's Rockman. But there was another cart there, but it wasn't like a Famicom game, and I remember it looking weird. Like, it really looked weird, and it looked almost like a bootleg, kind of like B-52, you know, like those like unauthorized carts or whatever. It wasn't Tenjin, no, but it ended up being the California Raisins, like the Great Grape Escape or something, and that little mom and pop store had like a prototype version of, I guess, whatever that California Grape Escape game was. And I was like, dude, I liked those things as a kid. 
I don't remember anything about them other than they were singing grapes. But like, I could have bought that, but no, we had to pick this thing. <laughs> so thank you, Millen. Mylon, whatever your name is. Rocking cats, double dragon three and dragon warrior. You won the liquidation war for sure. Those are pretty good. That concerns me that I was able to do this. Do you need this item that I skipped to like see something like a pillar that I need to like push in this room to like open a door or something? That's what I- I'm concerned, man. <laughs> like, I don't want there to be some invisible push block, like... Okay. Can you imagine? That would be horrible. Melon, yeah. <laughs> so we can try, I guess, all of them, because, like, where the hell else are we gonna go? Probably is here too, right? Like literally where it says Hudson. The vest isn't okay, yeah. Free money! <laughs> like, yes! I don't think we walked into here. Pushed for four seconds on the fireplace. Where the fuck is the fireplace? The fireplace? This was talking about the wall, right? This is like the only sec- or the only second, the only hint that makes sense in this game. Everything else is like, there's a fireplace room, where the fuck was the fireplace room? Okay, well I guess we'll go figure out wherever the hell the fireplace is. How did I do that? I thought like once you fell through those things, like that was it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I had no idea that that was a thing. Okay, so this is no fireplace. I guess it would be maybe on the top floor. Nice jump.
I know, huh? <laughs> I know how I feel about it. <laughs> you know, we'll just start from the beginning. Because there was... Sure, lightning. Find a saw! Crystal has mysterious powers. Excellent hints. There is no fireplace here either. You know, I remember asking uh, Blunt Bunny. Sometimes, like, dollars just come back for some reason. Do you understand the logic behind that? There's, like, certain rooms where... Okay, so then, wait. Why? So we were already here. Yes, we were. We get to do this stage again. <laughs> but you know what? There's just no fireplace in here times two. That's the best part, you know? We double check this room. It's the human resource office. You plan to stream again, Shuri? Is there a comeback at some point? Okay, so we also were here, there's nothing. Now we're trapped down here. You know what, you're only gonna succeed in multiple different ways in life with that mentality, <laughs> so... I am completely okay with that. over here. Whoa! <laughs> what a jump. That was a pretty good B grab, like I'm not gonna lie. Like we yeeted ourselves super far. Okay, so we... Nope. <laughs> Buy a B shield. <laughs> You were nice while we had it for like three seconds. Okay, this fucking dumb spring room, I don't think had a fireplace in there. Hey, what's up, Rez? Oh god, that was loud. Thank you for that, Rez. I'm pretty sure that was loud, I'm also sorry for that. That seemed louder than it should have been. But welcome on in. Oh man, you can almost jump up there. Okay, so this also has no fireplace. Okay. Okay, things that hit me. This is called Mylon, M-I-L-O-N, and Secret Castle. So Mylon, Secret Castle. Nothing in there. I don't think there is anything in here, right? Nope. What was in here? Maybe? Question mark? There was actually. There was a fire guy that I completely ignored here the first time because I remember literally saying I'll come back for you later and I never did. So... Nice. Well, I'm glad that we never came back to the fireplace. You know, we could have solved this like three hours earlier. Oh god, we're gonna die. This guy... yeah, okay, nice. 
Okay, well at least we know where to go. How apt, actually, considering we were streaming that like not even a day ago. And we also got burned, literally. My PB literally has that in there. Take care, Shay. It's nice seeing your name again. It's definitely been a while. And enjoy the movie. Apparently, I've heard good things, actually. Even though I'm not necessarily like a xenomorph person, but apparently it's pretty good. Or, I don't even know, is it a continuation? In like the Alien franchise? That I don't even know. I just heard the movie itself was pretty good from people talking about it. Uh, nope, this was an officially licensed NES game. It's a, it's a really cryptic game that has multiple problems. And it's very, very, very hard to navigate and play through. But, well, maybe not hard to play through, but hard to navigate and understand like what even you're supposed to do. I think we're just gonna get killed. Yeah, okay. And we could maybe do that. Ooh, boy. Ah, I assume these are like completely random in how they come out here. Like, there's probably no patterns or anything that you guys use in the speedrun. Yeah, exactly. I had the official seal of quality back then. Okay, so we can maybe do this. Because clearly, we probably don't need money now. Or at least we probably don't need a lot of money now. Interesting, okay. as well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I feel... Uh, okay. No! <laughs> that, like, lob shot piece of shit thing. Well, I was hoping that we wouldn't die there, because I can replace this, I guess, like one more time, but... Ah, okay, sorry, I saw that. Between alien and aliens. See, that would be very confusing for me to see. Because I saw the first alien, I never saw aliens. So, if it's like some kind of like, in the middle movie, 
I'd be missing like 50% of that. The sequel is good. I like the first one. Oop, it's up here. Oh, that helps actually. I didn't even think, okay, piece of shit. Why? Oh my goodness, why would you create this? Well, I guess you can kill him. What's happening? You can't kill him. But why? <laughs> like, okay, I'm just gonna go. Like. Okay, we're gonna die again. Nice, excellent boss. All right, so now we have no money. Now we have no health. All we have is Mylon's dreams. Okay, well, I guess we get to do here. Farm these guys again. Actually, Cat created a weird emote very randomly. Like, literally yesterday. I guess it was like a day before. But, like, generally, if I have an idea for something, I either make it myself or is like, can you do this? And she's like, sure. But if you look, there's like a seagull now. Oh no, I think I can't do that, sorry. I meant to put it on the other tier. But she made this one. Uh, where is it? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for that. It was this thing, but I meant to put it down one afterwards. Because I uploaded it to test to see what it looked like. <laughs> And it's actually not bad, I don't mind it. It looks actually pretty cute. The handshake. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Yeah, I never saw a Predator. Or Alien vs. Predator or whatever the hell. But I did like the first Alien movie. Okay, please. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna get an Umbrella. I completely forget this. Okay, there is an Umbrella. Now, ideally, I'm not gonna take like 10,000 damage on this guy entering. Yep, that's a good start. Okay. Oh shit. Is this, like, the opposite? Ah, uh, you cruel game, you. Because I bet you this is now the opposite temple, right? Oh, everything is, like, backwards, too. Ah, uh, so it's mirrored, so I have to go on the opposite side to probably kill the thing.
So that means you would be down here. Literally one last punch in the balls for real. Like, like you, you just can't let me fall down the floor, right? Land in front of the princess. There gotta be one more trapdoor there. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, we'll take that. Yo, it's up, Anthony. I don't know if I needed to go down there yet. As you do, so for Anthony. This is not correct. Nice. That's a good question. I have no idea. Because I thought maybe you exit, but maybe we don't do that yet. Maybe we go back to this other spot now. Dude, the fact that they programmed this guy to shoot as you're opening that thing is just like all kinds of shit. of life. Yeah, I guess if you read the Hitchhiker's, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Dude, the, the instant spawns on you are amazing. So then, 
The only other thing that I can kind of think of... Okay, I'm probably okay with that. I actually wanted to leave. But the right side. No. I have no idea who Crow is. The... we got like the sword thing or whatever it was afterwards. Yep. We collected the little sword thingy. Sure, game. It's a beautiful amount of damage, by the way. Okay, so then, if there's nothing in here again, go back to the opposite room again, because maybe I can go through the wall or something here. What's the point of even trying, you know? Like... Okay, one sec. Like, literally how you just <laughs> you try so hard to not get damaged. And it's like, you know what, we're gonna damage you anyway. So... Like, what can we do? Like, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Yeah, no, it's pretty easy. Like, maybe... I don't know if it's like, maybe like one of the rooms that like the saw room, what am I doing? The door's over here. Like one of the saw rooms or something like that. Cause there's like all these rooms that seemingly led to nowhere. Ah, this is probably what we needed, right? Water pot and icy room.
paint but ah uh, yeah okay that makes sense So I wonder, Yeah, we have Cora up here for sure. So like, I don't think there's anywhere... Okay, like, let's try this. Because I was going to say, I don't think there's anywhere that I've been to that... I can think of that I need to go back to with like this crown and scepter. So like, maybe there's like somewhere here like an empty room that was a boss room or something. Or maybe it's around... Like these kind of things. The hammer. They're pretty good, yeah. I don't mind Kura at all. I would like lightning to not exist, though. Thank you. Why? <laughs> like, just leave me alone. Yeah, that's actually very true. Like, I don't think I've ever gone to Kura and then didn't bring back food for lunch as well. Shifty. Well, <laughs> okay, finally. Okay. How many times did I skip it? Wow! Literally! So much damage, dude. Holy shit. Okay, well... Yeah, actually, all the times that I've ever been to America, that was incredibly true. Like, the portion sizes in America are insane compared to Canada. And I would also consider, like, what you can get at Cora already insane for portion sizes. Like, as Shafi said, literally it's like three meals on one plate, so I can only imagine in America what it's actually like there, too. Literally order like one thing from Cora and eat for like a week. Yeah, they're probably not the best armor for sure. I think we're gonna just try to like actually respect that boss because the first hit it did on me was a lot. It's like seven damage or something. So we'll just kind of wait. <laughs> we'll stay away.
my See, technically if we plan to be careful, we don't need any health, right? That's that's how we do it. So we missed quite a few music boxes too. I think our symphony only had four instruments in it. So I think we were missing three. Wasn't that bad. We had to use our brain for a second. Is there actually zips here? That would be I never saw any kind of zips in this game. That would be incredible if there was though. What's up, Brian Polly? Like, this game, I swear, has some of the most truly designed choices sometimes. I guess I should probably kill these things. They're just gonna kill me if I don't. Dodging nine of them is kind of annoying too, so. Where did it go? I I must have been in a different what the fuck. I guess I walked over the last oh. <laughs> Dude, take me away, sir. Like, I thought I was in uh whatever spot that I was with like the boxing glove thing again, but apparently not. Oh, man. You beat this one, aren't probably?
this hasn't been that bad of a game. Like, there's some pretty jank things, but... I, see, this is where I wish that it controlled, like, slightly better, or if there was, like, a little bit of iframes. Because I don't mind whatever cracked out crazy design that this is. Like, trying to figure out where to go and things like that is not that bad, but... A lot of the deaths came from, like, literally having zero iframes. So, I don't mind this one, but... It's more so very poor design choices, like, zero iframes, I feel. And stuff like that. You probably could replace uh, Battle Kid with Mylon. You never left the first floor. Yeah, I was literally saying earlier, I had no idea. I had it as a kid too, and oops, I was able to beat uh, up until the well, but after that, it was like nothing. I had absolutely no idea how to do that. Kid's Secret Castle. I can imagine that too, Dan. I would not mind playing this again, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, everything coming up my line. Okay, so we need to... Thank you, Waste All Our Health, apparently. So there's one. We're gonna figure this out. There's one, goes white. There's two, goes blue. Then it goes red. Green. Brownish? How many of these things are there? Blue. Okay, so it keeps repeating, I think. Okay, so I think it just loops. I don't know, I've never played the Super Nintendo one. Like, I, I like the idea of this one just because of the crazy design that it has, but... Okay, there's a B there, apparently. Can I just kill him from here? Like, if he comes back... <laughs> okay, that guy though. hurting him. Yeah, I'm surprised that it got, like, a sequel. Okay, we'll try to do something. Then. Oh my god, dude. If I leave one more time, I swear to god. Like, please stop. Okay, we're just gonna start chronologically. What is in this room that makes you different? Okay, so that's where that was. Lightning, I swear, is the worst in this game. So we have... Why? Okay, 
so... Okay, you piece of shit. I'm just gonna die to the lighting, man. That was a cool frame to enter. So I have to remember to hold up, literally entering this room. You can get over there, apparently. No! Why is there a B there? Oh! <laughs> what? I guess? <laughs> Why do we have nothing? Okay, that's not good. So we can apparently... Okay, so wait. Why is there so many of these things? I think this just makes me exit though, right? Yeah, damn it. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to understand. I just don't understand if we need like that little tiny glove thing. The dodges <laughs> the dodges were pretty sick, honestly. I wish I had money. Having two dollars in your bank account is not good. It would be nice to actually buy the power, but, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Apparently my line has to be extremely stricken by poverty. That's actually what I liked about the speedrun and like watching Blunt Bunny is I'm pretty sure like money is finite in this, right? Like it's not just like an infinite thing because, or maybe, sorry, maybe that's just the speedrun route because at least in any percent you have to like constantly get like 50 notes on the music note box or whatever to be okay. Why do you exist? Yeah, let's, let's just literally jump around and hit our block. Can like, you imagine that for the next like hour like this, literally? Please, just give me hearts without taking damage. Or umbrellas, apparently. But that's true, Aaron Polly. Finding all the music note boxes would be tricky in itself. Because as I was really just saying, I think I found four... I'm pretty sure like our little symphony has four guys playing in it, so... It's not quite complete, but... We got a drum and a tuba or whatever the hell it is. I can imagine, like, they're probably crazy. I <laughs> 
found two after two hours of searching. Is it possible? Oh my goodness. As I say, is it is it always storming now or something? Is it possible, I was going to say, to enter this guy's lair without getting struck by lightning? But I don't think it is. I think every single time we enter this guy's house, it's like, no, we gotta get struck by lightning. Just please, sir. I'm tired of being struck by lightning. Just like to come in here and kill you. That's it. No, we fell for it again. Okay. Yes, that's... Okay, so you definitely need to be the tiny guy, I guess. Okay, so they're all laid out that way. And they're all laid out that way, okay. Well, guess what? You can go back and farm for some more health. Hooray! <laughs> Ugh. A oh, fuck you game? <laughs> I swear to god. The lightning is such bullshit. Like, uh -huh. That's amazing. Gotta pay the toll. It's amazing, like, I love the idea that that's just a thing. Like, they're like, nah, you know what, doors aren't safe places. Okay, so we have two different choices then, actually. Because I thought originally you had to, like, keep going left. Or, like, you had to go right after. So maybe we go left. Like, oh, I don't know if I want to kill that guy again. Because we can go left and then left. After, okay, please. The happiest I've ever seen Sin on Twitch was definitely when he was running Mylon Seeker Castle. That was one happy man. <laughs> oh man. He really was. Okay, that's probably decent again. So I guess after you get the crown and scepter, it's just lightning all the time. Or it's like after you kill this Kama guy or whatever the hell his name was. Because it doesn't seem that the lightning goes away. So I'm assuming that's true. I think it's impossible, literally, to enter that without taking at least one hit. Like, the lightning is like always spawning as you're entering that. And you're always immobile, like you can't move. Okay, so I have to remember to hold up here. Okay, or just fall through, that also works. Okay. So do we... Can I even get in there? Oh boy. Oh boy! 
Why did that other thing have to appear and ruin everything? Okay, so white is fake, which is great. But that means I can go through here, right? Oh shit. Why? Okay, guy that's like down there. I love how they're just like screen wrapping. Thank you. Okay, I think we're not going to survive. <laughs> this is kinda. But we at least ruled that white is the fake one. Okay, please. Just go into the stupid pillar thing. Okay, you can't be here. What a piece of shit. So I guess his hitbox is in his head. Oh boy. I'm pretty happy with this. This little space is a safe space. Oh god, it's not safe anymore. I don't know if I'm taking... Maybe I need to actually go in there to do damage. Was that it? Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> you bravely saved Castle Garland. Thank you, Milo. Yo, what's up, Posty? The blue one was the real one, I guess. So 420, that was the goal all along. It's RNG, is it really? That's cool. Man, and that's it, you worked that hard, literally. That's insane. There's no, like, second loop or anything like that in this, right? But thanks, Kuma, Cat, Sin, and Chroma, Iron Polly, Dan, Base Guy, Servempa. You can start the game on the first possible frame to avoid RNG. That's cool too. I did not know that posty. So what changes in the second loop? A secret message after you beat it eight times. I didn't know there was a Game Boy version of this either. This was a cute little game. I didn't mind this. This was actually not that bad. I feel absolutely this is one of those games that gets better if you play it again. <laughs> like, running around trying to figure out some of this stuff is pretty difficult. But, it's pretty good.
Did I actually? I didn't see what I was doing, but that's pretty amazing. This is pretty good. I actually like this one more than I thought I would. That's cool, Pussy. I had it as a kid, but I was saying probably before you were here, I got as far as the well and then I got lost. Like, I could beat the thing in the well and then I had no idea what I was doing anymore. So, I'll send you guys... I don't know who operates this channel. Um... It's like a local thing that they started to do. It might be Slackinator, it might be Retro Runner, but I know they hold like a little thing and it's called like NES Fest. So they're doing that I think this weekend, so I'll send you guys over there. But pretty cool game. I didn't mind this one. I actually didn't mind it at all. I think he did, yeah. I'm not sure who's the person that like did this, but whatever. They just it's like a local speedrunning thing, so y'all can go say hi over there. And go check out the people that are participating. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and hope you all have a good weekend.